Hello and welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. This is, in a sense it's another unboxing, but this is another piece of gear that I picked up and it's in response to partly the Far North Bushcraft and Survival's video on a basically a water filter for cabins and remote camps and so on. This is actually a very interesting solution that I picked up. You guys have seen my video on the may have seen my video on the MSR or Sweetwater Guardian mechanical filter which I still like and you've seen my video hopefully on the Sawyer 4 liter water filtration system. Now this one goes a step further. This just arrived. This is the Sawyer 0.02 purifier. So it it's not a point it's not a point 0.1 it's a point 0.02 meaning two one hundredths of a micron which is an incredibly fine filter way better than the catadines or anything else this is head and shoulders above any water filter I've seen and so let's have a look at the box this is what we're talking about now I picked this up on amazon.ca for a hundred and thirty dollars and when you take into effect how much filter candles and everything else are. You'll see one of the main reasons I picked this up instead of continuing with developing my own bucket filter. So, let's have a quick look at this. In here, there's actually a label that goes on your bucket. You will need for this, or you may need, a food grade five gallon bucket or three gallon bucket, which I just happen to have right here. This is my old uh, primary fermenter for my when I used to make beer but so in here comes the filter there's a there are a couple of clips you'll see the clip here I put one on I was playing with this this will get to in a minute there's the uh, there's the hose there's also once again, these are great. This is a faucet adapter. I will probably use this a couple times a year. My my well gets cloudy because of spring runoff, and the water's just not good. And this will take care of it. Of course, there's directions, and then we have the outlet. This is your bucket adapter. It actually comes with a little 13 16 inch spade bit. So you don't have to actually buy one. The directions also say you can do this by hand if you want. I used a drill. Also a spare clip. And there's this, which is your other end of your water hose. This actually fits on the filter like so. That's one of the ways to fit it. Sawyer actually likes you to hook this one up and you know tilt it up, hang it on the bucket when it's not in use. We'll see how that works. One of the other nice things is with some of these extra pieces you can actually go and uh, you can attach this like I said, with a little ad adaptation, you can attach this to their uh, two or four liter water filtration kit. You can swap out the one filter, put this in. Now you've got a water purification kit. Before we get started, hear me going on about the fact that it's 0 0.02 microns. The what that actually means it's 0 0.2 0 0.02 microns absolute, meaning nothing bigger than two one hundredths of a micron gets through. That actually includes viruses. There's actually stories of these being used in the Philippines with the recent typhoon. There's actually one report said they had one of these filters and it was the only clean water for, I think he said 15 or 20 miles around. If you go to the Sawyer site and read the testimonials, you'll see what we mean. So this is an incredibly fine filter. One of the things I like about it, <clears throat> directions say you fill this up with clean water three times and you can actually 
stick it in the end here and back flush it. So you back flush it three times. There's no more need for spare cartridges. This also has the Sawyer million gallon guarantee. That is 3.73 million liters. So if you take care of it and keep back flushing it, don't let it freeze. Uh, this will last you literally a lifetime. This is the last filter you're probably ever going to need. So, let's go put this together. Oof, it's a bit chilly out here, but as you can see, watch it get lighter here. As you can see, I've got my five gallon bucket here. Sorry, it does darken. It's, that's a flaw on my camera. But actually, this is a five imperial gallon bucket five and a half ampere. It's a big bucket. What you want to make sure is that this is a food grade bucket. Best way to get those go to food courts or restaurants and find one. Look at the label. Make sure it hasn't been carrying detergent or anything like that. Um, margarine tubs. Sometimes you find soy sauce or mayonnaise in these things. You can get by with a smaller bucket as well but the bigger bucket the more you can filter. So I've actually drilled my hole here and this is where it's simple. Just take this. For some reason this bit here is pointing down and that's how they say to install it. It just simply goes in there. Follow the directions. You just make sure the washers have the beveled side toward the bucket at all times. And in it goes. You just uh, you want to make sure you don't kink the washer. Well, that's what I like to do. I like to make sure to turn it around a bit. And there's your outlet right there. So then the nut is next. Shows you how quick this is to go together. You likely will not need a wrench for this. I'm doing this by hand and it is plenty tight. Yeah, a little bit of effort there. It's cold. My fingers are kind of, yeah, kind of chilly. And there you go. So there's the bucket portion. Straighten that out. Next thing, I've got this hooked up. So then all you do, you get your filter there. On this goes, there's your filtration system. Right there. So the way it works, keep this hanging. You could put a tube and a valve down there. Uh, you can get one of those little crimp valves or, or you know crimpers for here. I wouldn't bother with it. This is simple as it gets. So this sits up on a shelf. This sits down here. It's totally gravity flow. This goes into your well, it goes into your your uh, receptacle. So I got to take this inside. Show you guys how well it works. Right, we'll be right back and get an idea. This thing will actually filter, it says about 600 liters per day. So, again, if it ever slows down, all you do is get the syringe and you back flush it. I am likely going to get a spare parts bag to hang on the side of this bucket so everything is where I want it. And I'll put this sticker on here too. This is the filter cleaning instructions that shows how to back flush it. Pretty handy if you put it on the bucket. So I'll be right back, we'll have a look, and we'll see how it works. Okay, so here it is inside in use. So there's the bucket. And you can see here, we've got the hose hooked up. Now let's look. The more headspace you have, the better. This is actually a oil container. Uh, vegetable oil container from... 
uh, well, from a food court. And you just wash it out really well with detergent and hit it with a bit of bleach and water. And as you can see the water level down there, that's actually about 25, 30 minutes. So it's definitely not a fast filter. But the water in there is completely, uh, completely pure. So it's really good stuff. And here, as usual, are some I prepared earlier. I'm stocking up for the winter and spring. So uh, these are also great containers for home. Uh, very handy. Do you get an idea how this could actually be very useful in a disaster recovery or disaster preparedness situation? Those are each about well, five US gallons, about 19 liters, maybe about 20. And these are going into, well, a couple of different closets in the house. But that's it. That's the Sawyer Point Zero Two water filter. Now, it says it does about one liter per minute. I found that's only the case when you hook it up to the tap. Then it actually comes out fairly quick. If you're doing a gravity filter like this, the more head space, let's see, the more head you have, the better. So the higher up the bucket is versus that hose, the better. This is only pulling about 500 milliliters per minute, but the water in it is absolutely pure. So as you can see, this is a wonderful filter. I don't actually get paid by Sawyer or anything like that, but you get an idea how marvelous these things are. They're worth buying. This could, you know, this will definitely give companies like Catadyne and so on to run for their money. I know I've seen the Catadyne kit, which is about two fifty or three hundred dollars. It's two five-gallon buckets with like several filter units in it. I've seen handmade ones, far north, or far north bushcraft and survival. The one drawback with all of those is that they're not this. This is back flushable. You don't have to ever replace the filter elements. Some of the other big filter elements are back flushable as well, but we're honestly, guys, we're talking. Hundred and a yeah, hundred and change, hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty bucks plus the bucket for a filter that will outperform and outlast all the other filters around. Now, if the other filters are 0.1 micron, they'll get bacteria, they won't get viruses. And in some areas, viruses are a big concern. So, there, Sawyer is also a very environmentally responsible company and they provide their filters right around the world you'll find in disaster areas they've got Sawyer filters working so I'm actually want a big shout out and a big shout out and thanks to a Sawyer for making these available to the average consumer like I said I, I am gonna love this I am actually gonna do several more containers of water for storage you know again for disaster prep I also great again for camping trips and for uh, well, if you've ever got a boil water alert, this will take care of it. And those, those alerts are becoming much more common in this day and age. So, that's it. The Sawyer .02 purifier. You can also get this uh, in about the 220 Canadian range. They actually have a 4 liter uh, gravity filter, gravity purifier system, similar to the 4 liter filtration system I've shown in another video. So, uh, that's about it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching the Alberta Bushcrafter channel. My name is Dean. Take care. Get one of these. And good day.